The gentleman have an amendment at the desk. Amendment at the desk. Uh, the free clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment number 233, printed in Part B of House Report number 116-119, offered by Mr. DeFazio of Oregon. Pursuant to House Resolution 445, the gentleman from Oregon, Mr. DeFazio, and a member of Pulse, each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Oregon. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. Uh, this is uh, an extraordinary uh, move uh, to uh, suddenly turn trains into liquid natural gas pipelines. Of course, liquid natural gas is not transported by pipeline. It brittleizes metal. Uh, and, uh, you know, this would be a way of, uh, you know, a, a new and innovative way of moving uh, liquefied natural gas. Now, there's a few problems with this. We had the administrator into the committee last week. It's going to be moved in DOT 113 tank cars. I said, are those puncture proof? He said, no, they're not puncture proof. And I said, well, what happens? Uh, well, he said, we, we carry volatiles all the time. I said, you don't carry anything like liquefied natural gas. There's something called a BLEV. Uh, and it is a liquefied explosive vapor explosion. And boiling liquid explosion, any anyway, BLEV. So the BLEV uh, has like an unbelievable blast impact. Uh, and this is just one rail car. These will be six trains a day going through the most populated parts of Florida. A hundred cars in each train. Envision this. Uh, here's a Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This is the blast zone. Everything, and that's just one, one of these tank cars. It's likely it will cause a chain reaction, an explosion. It's going to be about as powerful as Hiroshima if it goes off. Now this maybe will get someone's attention. Uh, this is the bright line, high-speed rail line. That's where they're going to run uh, six trains a day with a hundred cars of liquefied natural gas, never ever been done before, except in small containers, never done, been done before. And oh, by the way, within the blast zone is Mar-a-Lago. So are they going to allow these trains to run while the president's there? All you need is someone with a 50 caliber to shoot a hole in one of those tank cars, and you are going to have one humongous explosion that goes beyond Mar-a-Lago. So what is the foolishness? The, the pipeline has their safety materials agency has not evaluated this. They're the ones who are supposed to do this. They haven't finished uh, imposing uh, laws that we uh, put in place in 2011 for the safe movement of hazardous goods. But now they're rushing this through. The, the, the administration says, oh, no, we want this permit done in 12 months. Well, maybe the president doesn't know he's in the blast zone. Maybe he wouldn't be ordering it be done in 12 months if he knew it was within the blast zone. I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves. The purpose of the gentleman from Florida.